Hello everyone, welcome to our studio today. So glad you joined us. Hope you're going to paint with us. And today we're going to do something that uh, uh, probably about anybody can do. This m might be sort of a lesson today. We want to do something. We've been painting a lot of different uh, scenes over the years. But today I want to do something. Uh, let's do a snow scene, okay? That might be something that anyone would like to do. And I, the way I'm going to do it, now the first thing I'll tell you is I've already coated my canvas out with burnt linseed oil. The only reason I do that is so the colors will move around real easily. So anyhow, let's mix up a little color. And I think I want the sky here, but I don't want you to be able to see clouds and stuff. And I want trees maybe coming all the way up over the sky. So let's mix a little color for the sky. Now we've already got white there, so we need something a little bit different. So I'm going to take a little blue. And a little alizarin crimson. I'm going to pull out a little more blue there, because we'll be using some more of that. Alizarin crimson and blue. And I want to mix that up. I don't want you to be able to see spots of the red. I'm going to grab a little more white. Now that's about the color I want. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm going to paint that in. I'm going to take, uh, this is a little two inch brush. I'm going to jam it right into the color. And I'm going to get a little thinner on my brush. Maybe a little more. Wow, I got a lot that time, didn't I? That's okay, as long as it covers. And I'm just going to brush that out real smooth. And I'm going to put a little more white in it, in, in the middle of it right here. Okay, you just brush it out real smooth. Now down here at the bottom, I want it to be a little darker. And we'll add the, the snow back into it, okay? And I might make that a little lighter right in the middle again. Sort of like that. You've got a, almost a little bright spot right in the middle. I hope you can see that on TV. Anyhow, Pretty well mixed in. Now here I'm going to go a little darker on the edges. So let me mix up a little color. For that I'm going to take the same blue, go right to the edge, and I'm going to take a little darker blue. I think that's ultramarine blue.
And I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush that out a little bit. I don't think I want it quite that dark. That helps clean the brush out. I'm gonna get just a touch of thinner. <laughs> wow. Now I want this to blend in with what we got on there. A little more of that blue. I love it. Hope you're painting with us. We'd hope to start some free art classes, and we may still do that this year. Hope, hopefully we can. Uh, we can't seem to get the uh, the building quite ready. We had the roof fixed. We had some leaks in it. Trying to get that as smooth as I can get it. And down here I just want a, a dark color. I'm going to go a little darker, okay, with a little more ultramarine blue with a touch of sap in it. And I want to pick that up a little bit. So I can get down here. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> I, I don't know how that's looking to you. <laughs> But I think when we're through, I think it'll look pretty good. I'm hoping. Oh boy, that's a dark blue. And they're green. We're about to get the whole canvas covered. And the dark color really is what makes the light color look good. All right, I like that. Now I may have to get a clean brush to blend that a little bit more. I want a little darker right there.
and I've about got my dark color blended pretty good. I, it don't have to be blended as well as the sky. Okay. I'm going to rinse that brush out a little bit. Now we've got some just regular thinner here. And we'll just lay them down over here, okay? Now I'm going to take a, a cleaner brush. This is another two inch. And I'm going into my light color. I want the transition to be sort of blended out. And right in here, I may go up a little bit with that dark, I'm not sure. Let's try a little more light first. Just want it blended. Okay. Oops. Got the whole canvas covered. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of work. Okay, I think that's blended in well enough now. I'm going to reach that brush out. Pretty well. I lay them right there. Now, what I want, I, I believe I want some houses here uh, and some trees going up. So let's just start doing some of that. Okay, I'm going to grab a brush or two. About that size. I got a couple of one inches there. Now I may uh, I need to make them a dark color. But probably not probably not that dark. So I'm gonna lighten that just a touch. Let's see what that will do. I'm not. That's a gray, all right. Let's just let's just do that and see what we get. And we'll take this little brush. I'm gonna put just a touch of thinner in it. Actually, I have to tell you what, I'm going to reach over here. Let me get a little, uh, this is, uh, let 
Uh, yeah, I was trying to find something to get it out with. Let me just get a brush and get it out. This is burnt linseed oil. I'm going to just put a little bit right here because I want these trees. to blend a little bit, okay? Now I'm gonna set that down right here because we may need it again, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that and mix with that color. Now, I'm not sure about this color yet, but I'm just gonna put a couple in here and we'll see. I'm not sure. I might ought to make them a little darker, okay? Uh, I'm going to run this right off of the top. Now I want some of them a little lighter. And some of them to look like they're coming right at you. Now these are the background trees. Of course, in the winter time, you can really see all the extra limbs that's on the trees. I want a few over here. I'm not sure if I'll go all the way across with those. And I want to make uh, a lot of limbs. You can't get too many limbs on them, to be honest with you. Now I want some of these to be sort of light. That's a lot of trees, isn't it? All right, now we need to put a lot of limbs on those. I don't know how much time we got to put limbs on them, but we'll put a bunch of them on there. And I'll do a lot of them with this brush I have. See how wide it is? If I turn it sideways, though, I can make a pretty, pretty small little line. I'm just trying to get a, a whole bunch of limbs on them here. So they'll... I 
I hope you can see all that. I can't see some of it myself. <laughs> Anyhow, we're getting it. Now, we could shadow every one of these trees. I'm not sure that we will do that. And we could take a small brush and make those limbs a lot more definite. I can't see this corner over here the way the light's shining. A little bit more limbs before we quit. They go over which way, by the way. Now, I could go in there, like I say, and darken every one of these. But I'll just do a few of them. Now, too, in the wintertime, you probably will always see a few little le uh, leaves that didn't fall. So I'll we'll put a few in there. Now I'm just using, the, taking the corner of the brush and I got a little Van Dyke Brown here and I'm just putting a few little limbs in here. I mean uh, leaves. I put a whole lot of limbs. I don't know if we'll put snow on some of those or not. We'll see that a little bit later. A few more leaves I think would look good. Little more brown. Now we could come in like that and darken. Those. But we don't want too much detail in these. We may put some in front later, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm gonna rinse me brush out. Now I'm going to keep the snow on the cool side, which means I'll be adding blue to it and a little alizarin crimson.
Now I'm not sure what we'll do here. Let's just uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of this boil linseed oil. Oh Lord, got some ugly color in that. I should have rinsed it out a little better. Let's do that one more time. If that don't do it, we'll grab another brush. A little more of the linseed oil. Now we're going to start divine, uh, maybe designing overall what the picture looks like. I think I want a road coming in here somehow, but I may want it covered up with a house. I'm not sure. So let's just do a little mountain right here to start with. That's, that's a little too light. Okay, let's try that color. For our background, Now we're starting to add a little bit of detail. Let's go to the other side. We got about a minute left here. I'm blending that out a little bit. I think I'll start putting some houses in here, but we don't have time this week. So come back and be with us next week, and we'll add some more detail to it. Anyhow, we've got to say goodbye today, and we've enjoyed being with you. And come back next week, and we'll do a little more work on our painting. Goodbye, and God bless.